Good morning. We have now come to a time of prayer. I'll be praying out loud today in three sections for our world, for our church, and for ourselves. I invite you to join me wherever you are. After each section, I'll say, Lord, on your mercy, and I invite you to respond, hear our prayer. Let's pray. We pray for people in position of authority in this country and in the rest of the world who are key in making important decisions about lockdown and the future of the countries after the pandemic. Strengthen each leader with resolve to do what is best for the country, the people and the economy. Lord, may they be a beacon and a voice of peace, reason and hope to their nations. Thank you, God, for the incredible efforts throughout the world in developing a vaccine for the virus. And we pray that a successful vaccine will emerge soon. We also pray for all those in, in our country and around the world who have been affected by the pandemic. We pray for people who are grieving, struggling and suffering due to the crisis. God, be the healer, comfort, protection and close companion in these times of trouble. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Dear Father, thank you for the brilliant staff at HT that are making church happen online through lockdown and for the hard work that each staff member is putting into it. We pray that you will continue to work through them and that you will bless their work so that our church and anyone who's watching these online services may be blessed and encouraged and draw closer to you. Father, we pray for your guidance and wisdom to each member of the HT team. We pray that you will help them in making the right decisions when coming back into the church building and in the process of appointing a new vicar. Please, we pray, may your hand be upon those who are making these decisions. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Thank you for all the encouraging stories we've been hearing from members of our church who have been drawing closer to you during this time. We pray also for people who have felt further away from you during this time. God, we ask that you will fill them with your peace and surround them with your love. And this week we've been asked to pray for Eliza, one of our precious HT kids, who is facing major medical treatment. So let's pray for her. We pray for Eliza, her family, and the doctors looking after her. Please give wisdom and skills to doctors. Please help her parents know your presence and peace in the storm and provide all they need in this testing time. And most of all, we ask you to please bring healing to Eliza's body. Dear God, we know that your love never fails. May you and your love be a firm foundation for our lives and strengthen us now and in the days to come. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Amen. Well, thank you, Vicky, for leading us in those prayers. We're coming towards the end of our service now, and in a moment we're going to sing a final song together. Uh, but let's use this as an opportunity to respond. We have been both challenged and encouraged this morning from this passage in 2 Timothy. I'm just going to read a few verses again. Verse 8. Remember Jesus Christ, raised from the dead, descended from David. This is my gospel, says Paul. And then later on, if we died with him, we will also live with him. If we endure, we will also reign with him. And we've been both challenged and encouraged. Challenged that uh, following Jesus, taking up our cross, uh, it does require courage. It does require dying to self. Um, and it involves challenges. But also we've been encouraged. Encouraged that it's worth it. It's worth it for the life that he holds out for us. So as we come to this final song, uh, maybe let's make this an opportunity to ask the Holy Spirit to fill us with courage, to fill us with courage, to take on the challenges he's called us to, to lay our lives down in his service um, and to keep our eyes on the prize he's called us to. And as we come to this final song, if you normally uh, give at this point or if you'd like to give to the work of HT, uh, you'll see a little notice come up of ways you can give via text or go online and give via the website. 
But let's, uh, let's worship together now.
Well, we have come to the end of our service. It's been great to worship together this morning. Um, and don't forget to sign up for Sunday Coffee next week. Um, it'd be wonderful to see you there. I'm going to end this morning by reading uh, the last few verses of Jude's letter. And uh, then I'm going to pray for us um, that God would send his blessing with us as we go into our weeks. The end of Jude. To him who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present you before his glorious presence without fault and with great joy. To the only God, our Saviour, be glory, majesty and power and authority through Jesus Christ, our Lord, before all ages, now and forevermore. Amen. Lord, we thank you that you are the God who can prevent us from stumbling. We thank you that you are the God who has a firm grasp on us. And we can trust you that you are able to carry us through all things and you are able to bring us to that final day when we see you face to face. And so we entrust ourselves and we entrust our coming weeks into your hands. We ask for your presence, we ask for your blessing, and we ask that you would use us to shine your light in this world. Thank you for being with us this morning. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us and have a wonderful morning and hopefully see you next week. Mm-hmm.